Critics of the single bullet theory argue the round must have curved in mid-flight in order to hit Connolly where it did. This belief is based on the assumed positions of the president and Governor Connolly. Here's the position that most critics have believed is the position that they were occupied at the time of the single bullet with Connolly directly in front of Kennedy. But that's not true. Actually, Connolly seated about six inches inboard and turned to his right. So it's not this, it's this. So you can see that any trajectory coming across the car this way is going to hit Conley precisely where he was hit. Now the other thing to keep in mind is that we look at it from the side here, a lot of people believe that they're seated at the same height here. But that's not true either because Conley is actually seated on a jump seat, which is positioned about three inches lower than Kennedy. So again, not here, here. Now you can take a trajectory line and you can see if we, t if we drag a trajectory line from the sixth floor window and drag it down to Conley's in shoot wound where he was hit on the back, that line passes right through Kennedy exactly at the points he was wounded. But the, the key thing is to see that the line is straight no matter how you view it. It's not a zigzagging bullet doing impossible things that we know could not have happened. It's a straight line. It's the only way it could have happened. 